Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum. Uh, so this video is the part 2 for chapter 5. We're going to continue what we have left um, last video. So we, in the last video, we have you know, the parameters used in the system. Uh, there are 5 parameters and also all the components inside the AM receiver. There are also 5 sections or 5 stages. I hope by now you already uh, know that. And for this video, we're going to continue. And if you have tried this uh, example, um, basically this will be the answer for the example explanation uh, about the example questions. So the input from the RF stage, basically we get, uh, as mentioned in this example, the carrier is um, IF carrier. Uh, you need to determine the IF carrier, USF and LSF, LSF uh, RF wave that is made from carrier, um, 900 kilohertz. USF uh, is 905 kilohertz and LSF is 895 kilohertz. So this would be it, uh, LSF, UF. So in the mixer, uh, it's actually say about high side injection so you need to uh, remember high side when the local oscillator frequency is more than uh, is higher than uh, rf frequency so you need to uh, minus uh, the frequency of lo with the frequency of rf and you will get the if uh, frequency around 450 to 50 and then, uh, uh, sorry, the local oscillator is 155, okay? So, it will go through a bandpass filter and you will get around uh, this frequency, okay? That's for the example one. Next is about image frequency, all right? Uh, this image frequency actually is not IF, all right? Even though it started with I. IF is not IF signal. Um, IF is actually intermediate frequency. Image frequency, we can consider it as uh, 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 the, the frequency one from this system. Okay, but it happened that the image frequency uh, produced from the 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 uh, cross product with the IF and also the RF. Okay, so be, beside IF signal, uh, there are one more frequency that you may find on the spectrum, and the 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 value of the frequency is much more greater than the LO, RF, and IF. So the image frequency. Basically, we can try to find the value by getting it. Um, you need to add the frequency of L and the frequency of the R. If you don't know the frequency of L, you may uh, use this equation where the frequency of R plus times of the frequency of I. You will get the same value I as uh, image frequency. So this is the question that we want in the process and uh, is we we can consider it as a, a distortion right and we want to know how much the image frequency has um interrupted our system by good getting the frequency uh, sorry the, the the value from the image frequency rejection ratio or ifrr this is the numerical measure to see um how good the pre-selector reject the image frequency from the system okay so you can use actually the ir is getting the you need to use the q q is the pre-selector factor all right always be given and then row 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 when you need to get from this equation the frequency frequency first and then divide by rf minus the the rf my, uh, divide by uh, image frequency and then you put, put this equation okay 
so this would be another example the second example you know how to image frequency and also calculate IFRR the example also is in um, under example uh, five five two okay and you can you can try to uh, calculate and put in your answer and find it either your answer is correct or not okay Next is mostly uh, I will explain what are the maybe um, electronic components you may use inside a, a, an AM receiver, all right? Uh, and maybe how what kind of um, circuits or uh, components that you can use in order to design your own AM receiver. Okay, so first is RF amplifier circuits, all right? It's a it's a eight pin. Uh, IC, all right. It has uh, two amplifiers, all right, and um, basically it's used uh, two transistors, right? Two transistors, all right. And it's a high gain, low tune amplifier, and this is um, the 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 common um, IC that you may use, uh, NESA two zero zero, okay, and. Uh, this type of amplifier circuit basically is a wide band and it's a very stable, has low noise, uh, low power. Right? You may use it in, in designing your own AM receiver. And next is a uh, on mixer. You can have this eight pin mixer. Uh, sorry, eight pin IC. Um, uh, which this is with the, the, the um, serial number and ES. 602A. Right. So this chip basically you can have uh, um, uh, two components uh, receiver. First is oscillator, and okay, and this oscillator can operate 100 megahertz. So actually, it can use for FM signal as well, and it has the or tune uh, and this type of IC can use for low power. And so high performance, basically, almost use cellular radio. Okay, next is IF section. So in IF stage, this is one of the uh, circuit that you may use in designing your circuit or, or your your receiver. AM receiver. All right, from a mixer, you may use what we call as double Q transformer. Q2. All right, and it has two uh, transformers that actually. Uh, connected cascadedly, all right, and we have this L1, L2, and L3 to read the effect of loading uh, inside the circuit, all right, and after next to the uh, detector. Okay, uh, in the uh, we'll call it just from this double tune transfer, basically, it will try to reduce uh, the, the bandwidth. All right. So if you put only one uh, single uh, transformer, basically you will get this kind of response curve, right? Zero point seven zero. So this will be the the fifth and, and when you want to read if you can, you can connect the transformer cascade, all right, using two uh, transformer and connect. So the bandwidth here will uh, reduce to zero point five times with the zero point seven zero seven zero point seven zero seven. And if you want to reduce more on the bandwidth, try to get more uh, transformer and connect it it uh, in connected uh, stage. Right. So this will be two stage. This three stage. So you use more transfer you get lower bandwidth. But of course, when you have lower bandwidth, it may limit the frequency you may use for your receiver. Okay, this is the IF transformer that you will use to in IF section, all right? Um, and use it in this IF, or what you call IF can, use 105, all right? And it's very small. Transformer that is uh, convenient to use in a small receiver or small device.
one. This is the AM peak detector cyclic detector stage. You will have this envelope. And you fit the and output of, of uh, this detector you have a frequency plus harmonics and also uh, I will cross product of uh, the IF and RF signal. So this would be very nice of uh, information signal to uh, make it smoother so the, the noise that embedded on the scene can be uh, eliminated okay so it can, we can actually uh, consider this signal to portion so uh, there are two ty types of this either uh, one is what we call rectifier in our information signal that has from the model signal to be uh, not so very small uh, form. Okay, so this is where the time constant, right? So you need to adjust the circuit to be uh, the RC to be nice and it can basically get a very smooth waveform instead of this. Uh, the amount over here. There are more. If I see uh, uh, be too long, it will happen. So we call it. We want this. This is the like that. Uh, make make our waveform to be uh, like this. So if your signal waveform to be this, try to adjust your RC so there will be either you will get the other waveform. Okay, so that would be it for this video. Try to do the example uh, two over here inside column, and we'll see on the next video. Thank you.